if you reduce ApoB to a physiologic level, i.e. the level of a child, and you keep it there, it seems improbable that you could develop ASCVD. And if you wanted to take a belt and suspenders approach, you would do all the things, right? You wouldn't smoke, you'd have good blood pressure, and you would have an ApoB level at the level of a child. And the challenge is that while clearly having very, very low LDL is not problematic, it's not an essential uh, molecule in our body. And we know this, by the way, because there are a handful of people out there that have genetic mutations, such as people who have hypofunctioning PCSK9, who have insanely low LDL cholesterol, like, you know, 10 to 20 milligrams per deciliter. So, you know, their level is like one tenth of, you know, what you might expect to see in a, in a normal person. And they have no deficits as a result of this, right? So they have no cognitive deficits. They have no deficits in strength or function or anything like that. The only difference between them and the rest of us is they just, they just don't get cardiovascular disease. 